All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala, back at it again with another Lord's Word of Edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Atakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rocha, Kodash. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone. Who we'll still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and her rule well with Shalom, Labachorium, Wabarakium, Shagasharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the Lashiwa Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 11, verse 14. Prosperity and adversity right prosperance is when everything is going good you know everything is going smooth you know you can't um you can't complain so to speak I mean, everything is uh everything is going right it says and adversity when everything is going left everything is just 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 uh just crumbling so to speak you know nothing can go right so whether you're doing good or whether you're catching hell life and death Poverty and riches, you see that? So life and death. So when a baby is born into his world, that was controlled by the Lord. When somebody has a near deletion experience and is and the soul is kept in that body, that was that's controlled by the Lord. Same way as somebody get the spirit get called back up to the spirit world, you know, do a um do a judgment of your shim how shy, that was also controlled by the Lord, right? It says poverty and riches come of the Lord, right? So whether you're homeless, you don't got to pop the piss in or a window to throw it out. You dumpster diving, you know, you just in the lower, you just in the, like in a, uh, a beggar's estate, you know, or whether you, you know, you got, you got houses on the hills, man. You got mansions and you don't, um, what's the word? You don't, um. What's the word, man? It's pretty much like you got everything that you ever want. You can have, you know what I mean? Because you got the riches. That's controlled by Yahweh Bashim Shah. You don't want for anything. You're not struggling. Verse 15, it says, Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the law are of the Lord. Love and the way of good works are from him. And that's why we don't take credits. We don't take credit for the works that we do you know making these edification videos for the elect on the internet and going out there on the highways and hedges and teaching the 100 percent truth according to the bible all that's from the lord man as a matter of fact um let me let me get the let, let me get the uh the balance because it says the ways are the good works are from the lord but the lord also controls the left hand side too this is the book of let's see, ezekiel 14 and 9. And if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing which would be a lie, because if he's deceived, he's going to speak deception, aka lies, right? It says, If the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. So the Lord was the one to put that. That, that demon on them, man, which demons are uh, angels on the left hand side. And the Lord tell and the Lord gives them orders and they do it, man. So, you know, it's, you know, these false prophets, teachers, and leaders teaching madness, you know what I'm saying, teaching lies, and try to use the scriptures to back up what they say. Uh, those demons that are in their heads or in their minds are are controlled and sent by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, right? It says, and I will stretch out my hand upon him, and I will destroy him uh, from the midst of my people Israel. You see that? And that goes well for the women, because you got women that claim that they can teach. They can teach men, you know, that they can prophesy, you know, that they can you they can you uh, they can uh, usurp authority over the men. The Lord put the spirit in their minds to do that, so the Lord could destroy them, man. Eh? You know, this is a part of the Lord's movie and we're all playing the roles. We're all playing scripts that the Lord um, read out for us to do. You know, so now that's why the Lord says he's going to come back and render 
or repay everyone according to his works on the earth. You know, whether it was righteous or whether it was wicked, it's paychecks for both of them. As a matter of fact, give me a second. Um, I want to get that in another translation. Let's see. Let's get that in the NLT. Bear with me. Salakia, like Salakia. Like Let me move my phone so I can type on my keyboard. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bobical shot. Bear with me. Let's see. This is the book of Ezekiel 14 and 9 in the NLT. It says, and if a prophet is deceived into giving a message, it is because I, the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, have deceived that prophet. And I will lift up my fist against such prophets and cut them off. From the community of Israel, meaning you ain't gonna make it on the first go around. You just you gonna be you gonna be destroyed. The two thirds of our the two thirds of our people, which is the majority, will have to be destroyed on this side. Okay, and come back to the laws of the elect in the kingdom, man. And that includes our family members who ain't right. Just like Lord's willing, our household will be say all be saved off for our works, our loved ones, man. The Lord controls both sides of the spectrum. Because the Lord deals with balance. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight, right? Proverbs 11 and 1. So now let's get the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. You see that? So the Lord controls everything, man. You know, the Lord put the curses upon us. To bring us down low to we to that we discontinue from our heritage. We follow the custom of the heathen nations. Just like the Lord allowed us and blessed us, you know, to have received the knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the scriptures when we heard the men of the Lord, man. Beginning with our elder apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone, you know, and of course our elder apostles um heard their teachers, we you know what I'm saying, their elders, and they took heed, man, you know, and kept it going. You know, that's all controlled by Yahweh by Shimei Shah, right? It says, verse 7, it says, The Lord maketh poor, it maketh rich. He bringeth low, it lifteth up. So the Lord controls everything in life. No matter what our position is, when, no matter what, how we feel, what we go through, you know, the Lord controls everything, man. Every in, Everything of, of our being, the Lord controls it. So now, like, 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 like big bros going to at camp, man, you know, the fact that we able to use the bathroom, man, the number one, the number two, you know what I'm saying? You know, that was, that's controlled by the Lord, man. And that's a blessing in itself because if you don't dump out what you put in, it builds up and it becomes toxic. And that's a slow, painful, agonizing deletion, man, you know? So this is the book of Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make a love. I wound and I heal. You see that? So the Lord is the one that gives injury. So when you get injured, when you get sick, you know, you get a, um, a cut, a scratch or whatever, you know, no matter how major or minor the injury may be, the Lord was the one that gave it to us, man. The Lord controls that, right? Just like the Lord is the one that, that heals us from that. It says, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So whatever the Lord says goes, man. You know, whatever the Lord uh, gives the angels charge to do, they go do it, you know? So the Lord says, listen, I want him to get into a, a car accident or I want him or her to, um, let's see, to delete each other, you know, have domestic, you know, violence. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's all controlled by Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, you know, in any scenario in life, the Lord controls it, period. So now let's go from there. To the book of Amos. Let's keep these precepts rolling. A little bit of an open form through the spirit. Just flowing. This is the book of Amos 3 verse 6. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city 
and the people be not afraid, and the trumpet that's being blown is the Bible through the men of the Lord. Tell me, if you don't repent, you're going to get destroyed. And it's just that simple. You know, it says, shall the trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? The only one that's going to be afraid and get themselves right when they hear the message from the men of the Lord is the elect. The one that's been called as well as chosen, man. You know, yeah, we hoping and praying that we be a part of that number. That's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect, because we sincerely want to be a part of that number, right? It says, shall the chum be blown in the city and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil, meaning bad times, in a city and the Lord have not done it? So everything that's going on in the whole planet of Earth, man, is controlled by the Lord. It don't matter what's going on on the opposite side of the world or what's going on on this side of the world. The Lord controls everything, man. Everything in the whole planet of Earth. So shall there be bad times, turmoil, calamities, misfortunes, you know, in cities, states, countries, and the Lord have not done it? Of course the Lord did it because the Lord is the creator. Like I got it, the precept on the screen, Psalms 115-3, our power is in the heavens. He does all that he pleases, man. So the Lord does whatever the hell he wants. As a matter of fact, verse 7, surely the Lord power will do nothing. Meaning before the Lord, Lord, meaning before the Lord does anything, before He executes that judgment, but He revealeth His secret unto His servants, the prophets, the understanding of the Scriptures, and the men of the Lord, okay, are going to bring it out according to the Scriptures. Now we know according to prophecy that the two thirds, which is the majority of our people, ain't going to listen. So when they get deleted, that's on them because they've been constantly getting given the warning, and everybody knows who we are. For my videos on the internet or whether they see us out there on the streets. So there ain't no excuse. And we ain't gonna cry. We ain't gonna send prayers up, prayers up for them. You reject the word, you be rebellious, you're gonna get deleted in good riddance. All praises to you, how about she and how shot. Just like a fair it's like repent and get themselves right. You know, all praises to you, how about she how shot. <laughs> for sure. Um yep, Isaiah. I'm going to close it out. This is the book of Isaiah 45. This is the book of Isaiah 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil, bad times. It says, I, the Lord, do all these things. So when you look at the news articles or when you're watching the news and you're seeing all the turmoil, the chaos, and all the deletion that's going on throughout the whole planet Earth, that's happening to the men, women, and children. That's controlled by the Lord, man. The Lord says something that's going to happen is going to happen. You know, there ain't nobody that can deliver out of the Lord's hands, man. You know, because the Lord has the final say so. So, hey, with that, Lord's Lord, this is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, It's a little bit of an open form through the spirit, something off the dome. Lord's wants the next time I say Shalom.